Elgato is sponsoring me to teach you what the optimal settings are in Windows as well as OBS to connect your Elgato Wave 1 microphone to your broadcasting software of choice. You've got to have your foundation set right so you can connect everything together. What do I mean by that? With the Elgato Wave 1 comes with obviously the Wavelength software that allows you to bring in Spotify, Game Audio, Microsoft Office, Skype, all of that into a singular easy to use interface, which is the Wavelink software. I recommend it to my clients all the time. Before you can connect the dots on your broadcasting software and Wavelink, let's get the foundation set. Awesome. So first stop on Windows is down here in the search bar, type in the word sound. And what you're gonna do is go to sound settings. Once you click sound settings, it's gonna bring up this menu with a bunch of irrelevant options. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down until you see this hidden menu which I wish Windows would put at the front, called Sound Control Panel. That's where you get all of your juicy settings that you want to set up everything properly. Awesome. So today we're gonna skip the playback settings because those are not as important. Those are only going to affect essentially what you hear in your monitor mix and your headphones. We're not as concerned with that today. We're gonna to do your recording settings. And you're gonna see three critical recording uh, options here. Your microphone in, which is just your mic, your monitor, Wavelink monitor, which is your monitor mix, which you hear in your headphones or your speakers when you're doing your monitor mix, and then Wavelink stream, which is going to be the final output that goes into your recording, into your live stream, into uh, your broadcast. Got it? So what we're going to do in each of these is we're going to right click, and then we are going to go to properties. In each one, um, you can name it whatever you want. I, I like leaving it as mic in. But what we'll do is we'll go through these menus and make sure that your settings are correct. You should not be listening to the device with your levels. Go ahead and if you want, you can bump them, start them out by bumping them up to 100, and then you can ease the volume back from there. It's really important that your enhancements are all disabled here in Windows. Sometimes those will pop on by default. And if you go to advanced, you want to make sure with the Wave 1 that you're selecting 24-bit 48,000 hertz studio audio. It'll just be slightly higher quality. And do give exclusive mode to your microphone input. Got it? For the Wavelink monitor, we're going to go through a similar process. Don't listen to the device through Windows. See, see how the levels are at 100? Awesome. Don't do the enhancements in advanced. You're going to do a two-channel 48,000 hertz um, studio quality and exclusive mode. Got it? And then for stream, you're going to do similar settings, of course. And here, uh, we're going to do the same thing. Not listening to it, 100 levels, no enhancements. Go to advanced, and then you're going to do the highest option, 24-bit, 48,000 studio quality with exclusive mode. You're basically duplicating those settings on all three of these. The reason why you want exclusive mode just to be clear, is that exclusive mode allows your Wavelink software, this software that controls everything and is the majority of the value of this microphone, to actually take exclusive control of your device and to do its thing. And if you don't give it exclusive mode, then uh, you won't be getting the full benefit and also other programs can adjust your volume and stuff, which you do not want to happen. Check. Those are the Windows settings that we wanted to set up before we go into OBS. It's really important because we're going to end up matching some of those settings here in OBS as we go into our settings here. So let's check out OBS right now and do our settings there. So here in OBS, your little settings button is down here in the bottom right. Click that and it's going to pull up our handy dandy settings menu. In this menu, there's a couple key areas I want you to take a look at. Your first stop is going to be the audio tab here on the left hand side click the audio tab and then as you're going to see up here see the sample rate you saw how we double checked our sample rate in windows we need to match that sample rate here in obs and obs will default you in some cases to 44.1 but remember we just set our sample rate to 48. Match the sample rate. If you don't do that your audio that's coming in through Wavelink may desync from what you're recording here in OBS because the sample rate is not the same. Got it? Awesome. Channels are stereo, and I very highly recommend that you manually disable every single audio device in OBS. Why is this important? Because your Wavelink software, you're going to be pulling in multiple audio sources there. 
and you don't want OBS to automatically add any audio sources as well. This will confuse you with your mixing. So if you disable everything here in OBS, all of your mixing on your computer will then be done through the Wavelink software over here instead of a combination of Wavelink software and OBS, which can get hairy, it can cause feedback, and it can cause confusion. So if you automatically disable all of these, you're simplifying your life. Trust me on that. It is absolutely worth your while. The next setting that you're going to want to do to maximize your audio quality, this is missed by, I'd say, 90% of my consulting clients, go to the output tab and do not do simple mode. It'll default you on simple mode here for the output mode. Don't do that. Do advanced mode because if you do that, it will enable you to increase your audio quality. What do I mean by that? Go to the audio tab and each of your audio bit rates in uh, OBS will probably default at like 128 or 160 when you land on this menu. Don't do that. That's what peasant cavemen use for their audio bitrate. Bump it up to 320. You will double your audio quality mathematically here by doing that. And there is a noticeable difference, in my personal opinion, between 160 and 320. It's like going from like a low to mid tier quality MP3 to a maximum quality MP3. You can especially hear the difference when you put on headphones. So I highly recommend doubling your audio quality here in this menu. Then when you're done, what you're going to hit is apply down here, and then you can hit OK. Got it? Now your Windows settings are all set up to where Wavelink software is now taking exclusive control of your devices. Check. You've set your sample rate to 48,000 hertz. Check and you've disabled all of your enhancements in Windows so that Windows isn't gonna jack up your audio, check. Then in OBS, you went into your settings, you made sure that you've disabled all devices, you matched the sample rate we set up before, and you went to output, and in your audio quality, you doubled your audio quality. Check, check, check. Now your foundation is set for you to have maximum audio quality and avoid a lot of big issues with the Elgato Wave 1 when you're connecting it to your broadcasting software. This is set it and forget it, my friends. Hopefully that was helpful to you. And if you wanna pick up this mic, which I very highly recommend, I'm gonna have links below and the official accessories for the mic are also down there as well. Adios, amigos.